and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren and if you enjoy this video and you would like to subscribe to my channel, make sure you subscribe right down below. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys some fall DIY room decor for you to try it in your room, things like that. And people are gonna be like, it's like Christmas time, it's way too late. It's actually not winter until like the end of December. So it's still fall. I feel like fall was just kind of like canceled out this year. Like everyone was like, oh, fall. And then it kind of went right to like winter. And I've also been putting off filming this video for a month, like every week. I'm like, you know what? Like I don't feel like filming it. Like I'm just gonna film a different video. Like I have had all this stuff for a month and I just didn't feel like doing it. So I finally did. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So for this first DIY, these are the materials you're going to be needing. So you're just going to start out with one of these leaf things. And by the way, everything in this video is from the Dollar Tree. So, so you're just going to cut off the stems of all of these leaves. And then you're going to take the mason jar and unscrew the cap and then Mod Podge would work like 15 times better for this. I had like this spray glue stuff that was like disgusting and I really should have worn gloves when I was doing this by the way. Um, but yeah, if you have Mod Podge, you use that and not this spray glue stuff. And then you're just going to spray the leaf and stick it on. And then I ended up putting on gloves, like these giant like man gloves, I don't know, and just sprayed on the rest of the leaves. Then uh, you could use a regular candle, but I wanted to use an electric one for this. You're going to take one of those, switch it on, and then put it inside the jar. Then you're going to take some of this string. I know they have this at like every craft store. Again, this was from the Dollar Tree. And just tie it around the top into a bow. And there you have it. So for the next DIY, you're going to take some regular scented candles and a candle tray of some sort along with some fake acorns and just lay the candles out and then put the acorns kind of, I kind of like put them like in between because they were like rolling weird, but yeah, you just put them in between and then you can light your candles. So the next DIY is probably one of the simplest. You pretty much just take, this came, this was actually not from the Dollar Tree. This was from Michael's, I think. But yeah, you're, it came in like a circle and then I just cut it so that it was like that and just hung it up. So it was kind of like a leaf banner, I guess. So for the next one, okay, so this was again not from the Dollar Tree, it was from Target, but it's from the dollar section in Target. And this is optional because my room is gold, I wanted to do this, but I just took this gold spray paint and sprayed the whole thing. Then you're going to take a blanket, it doesn't matter which one, preferably smaller depending on the size of your basket. Then you're going to take some ribbon, it can be any fall color, I was using this gold ribbon. And then just place the blanket on top of the ribbon so you can tie it. This honestly looks a little bit more wintry now that I'm looking at it, but we're going to make it more fall. So you're going to put that in the basket. And then take some fake leaves and just place them inside and kind of like make them look nice, I guess. And then it just creates this really cute, like cozy basket. So 
So to start out on the next DIY, you're going to take a book, preferably a book that you don't read anymore or that was really cheap or something, and just cut out four of the pages. And then you're going to outline the letters of fall, so F-A-L-L, in block letters. And then outline it in Sharpie and color it in. And then just snip off the sides of the page so it is just kind of like a banner. And then outline the rest of the letters. And then you're going to take a hole puncher and just hole punch the top of each of the pages. Then you're going to take some fall colored ribbon of some sort and loop it through each of the holes so it creates kind of a banner. And then to secure it, I am just taking some of this tape and putting it on the back. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to subscribe to my channel, make sure to subscribe right down below. And also make sure to turn on my post notifications so you get a notification every time I post a new video. And I'll see you guys in next week's video. Bye.